Hey, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and happy Thursday. Let's talk about that forecast as we head into the end of the work week and for the upcoming weekend as well. You may have heard over the last few days, it's looking like a very yucky weekend, and I do believe that that is exactly what is going to happen. It's all thanks to these two different areas of low pressure that are uh, being shown right now on our satellite. The first one is located right over the Gulf Coast of the United States. That second one is located over the northwestern panhandle of Texas, western Oklahoma, and southwestern Kansas. And as we head into your day tomorrow, both of these areas of low pressure are going to kind of meander and combine into one main system right over the southeastern United States of America. And then eventually heading into your weekend, these, uh, this brand new system that will be formed by these two different areas of low pressure are going to kind of just meander and just hang around the southeastern part of Georgia, particularly across the eastern part of South Carolina and eastern North Carolina as well. And bottom line, what does that mean? A lot of rain is forecasted for our area, not just for your Friday, but for your Saturday and Sunday as well. For your Friday afternoon, those temperatures will be topping out in the low to mid 50s everywhere you look under lots of clouds and widespread rain, particularly throughout your afternoon and, and uh, evening hours. I do think that it'll still still be raining for, uh, for your uh, morning hours of tomorrow, but by far the best chance of rain tomorrow will definitely come throughout the afternoon and evening hours as well. Heading into your uh, weekend for your house hunting forecast, this is not going to be a great weekend to do any sort of house hunting, although I do still uh, encourage you to do a lot of house hunting this weekend. Just have that rain jacket or that umbrella on hand, and it will be a very yucky weekend to say the least. Temperatures will only be topping out in the mid, to, uh, the low to mid 50s for your Saturday, mid to upper 50s for your Sunday, but still, who wants to be outside when it's raining and 50 degrees out? I sure as heck don't, and I guarantee you, you don't want to be sitting out there in that rain and 50 degrees as well. So just bottom line, stay indoors if you can, and just wait it out, and uh, just wait really until next Monday because heading into the brand new work week, it only gets better. More on that coming up in just a second. And let me tell you, a lot of rain is forecasted for our area. Usually when I say a lot, I'm talking about an inch or two, but we're talking about even more than that with this system. Upwards of three, if not four inches of rain is possible, especially across the coastal areas of Georgetown County. Anywhere from two and a half inches upwards to three and a half inches is forecasted for the majority of our area, particularly across our central and southern parts of our area but as you go further north of that anywhere maybe from around two to two and a half inches but still if you live anywhere from Johnsonville through Sumter, Manning, King Street, Georgetown, Myrtle's Inlet up through Myrtle Beach, Conway, North Myrtle Beach and points westward of Wilmington, North Carolina upwards of three to four inches of rain is forecasted for our area. Now as soon as we can get past all this yucky weather this weekend look how much better our weather is come next Monday and Valentine's Day. Yup, that's right, sunshine is returning. And the best part about it, those temperatures are rebounding. We're going from the 50s this weekend back into the 70s as we head into your next, as we head into your Thursday next week. We'll still be topping out in the low to mid 60s for your Tuesday and Wednesday, but still, let me tell you right now, the 60s is a lot better than the 50s, and along with that comes a very small chance of a rain shower as our brand new system approaches our area, but right now, I'm only putting about a 20 to 30% chance of rain for our area. Here's your forecast as you head further inland. As soon as we can get past this big rain event coming this weekend, much better weather returns for our area for your Monday and your Valentine's Day with only small rain chances coming towards next week. By then, temperatures will be rebounding into the 70s. Keep it here at Leaves Weather for all of the latest information and I hope you all have an amazing weekend.